delivering on the promise. That's my dream. Is as a cancer researcher for the past 20 odd years, I've made a lot of promises to the stakeholders who funded my research and supported my training. Delivering on that promise means reducing the burden of cancer, reducing the pain it causes to the patients and the, and, and the families, uh, and to develop novel therapies that are going to make their lives easier. That's, that's the dream I have to deliver on. Uh, my name is Jonathan Bramson. I am a professor at McMaster University, so I'm a researcher primarily, but I also uh, am involved in both undergraduate and graduate education. In my spare time, I direct a uh, research grouping called the McMaster Immunology Research Center, where we uh, look at a variety of ways to apply immunological concepts and methods to treat diseases. Uh, my personal interest is cancer, but folks around here study a variety of pulmonary diseases, lung diseases, as well as uh, some diseases of the lower tracts, uh, sexually transmitted diseases, and these sorts of things. Interests and hobbies, uh, I'm a runner, I mountain bike, I'm a skier. Um, I like to socialize with my friends, often to the detriment of my, uh, of my mental state the next day. Uh, I spend a lot of time with the kids. Kids enjoy being outdoors too, so they mountain bike with me, we ski together. Um, now and then, I, I continue to try and learn how to play guitar. This has been a long-standing uh, struggle with, with me, uh, never having enough time to actually spend time doing that. Um, and that's about all I got for spare time. The rest of the time, I'm focused on science. I don't know if I ever decided I want to be a researcher. I, uh, I was a geek as a child. I'm a geek as an adult. Uh, so for all you geeks out there, be proud of who you are. Don't be shy. Nothing wrong with being a geek. We're going to own the world one day. There is no single treatment for cancer. Sadly, uh, we, we group it as a single disease, but even within a single site, lung cancer, for example, is not one disease. Uh, and even if you break it down into the types of cells that form the lung cancer, it's still not one disease. Uh, it's so unique because the tumors, as we get a better understanding of the DNA and the mutations that give rise to tumors, we're discovering that they're actually very complex diseases. The research itself focuses on uh, reigniting the immune response against tumors. So mm -hmm. cancer patients, um, as their tumors progress, their ability to fight the tumors with their immune system gets shut down. The tumor has to do that, otherwise it can't survive. Mm -hmm. So in the earliest stages of tumor development, there's a battle that goes on between the immune system and the tumor. And only in cases where the tumor wins out do you actually see the cancer. So many people actually have cancer, arguably but the body's immune system actually controls it. You never see it. Uh, so it's only when you lose that control that the tumor emerges. So that presents a problem in terms of exploiting the natural immune system to fight cancer. So the strategy we take is not to rely upon the natural immune system. We, we take white blood cells out of patients and we engineer them. We make them better than they were before. And we give them the ability to specifically recognize cancer and then reinfuse them to fight the cancer. So this works in practice. Uh, we've, we've proven this works in a variety of, of non-human studies. And now we're in, we're in the process of developing this for human study. So in the end, it's going to be a personalized approach. And I wish I didn't say that because the term personalized medicine has been so overused in my opinion over the past decade. But it is the truth. The, the way we are going to solve this problem is first of all, figuring out how can we assess it properly on an individual basis? How do we correctly understand the nature of an individual per patient's tumors? Then how do we follow that tumor during the course of treatment? Because once you treat it, you now disturb the tumor and it's no longer the same tumor. And we don't have enough of an understanding about that. So we get lucky a lot. And in a number of cases, we've come in with these drugs, these chemotherapeutic drugs, which is giant hammers. And if they're big enough, then no problem. We can treat the cancer, and and there are some, there are some situations where surgery can be curative. Uh, there's situations where radiation can be curative, and there's situations where chemotherapy can be curative. We don't spend a lot of time talking about the diseases because they're not a problem to us. So we focus much more on the, on the diseases that are a problem to us. And those diseases that are a problem, it's because we just don't understand them, and we use our limited understanding to try and treat them, and we do our best. But until we understand them more properly, we're not going to be able to overcome this next hurdle. 
So that's that's the challenge, uh, for, and that's across the board. So there is no single treatment, unfortunately, and there's no single best treatment. It's all very individualized.